This ad is from Scandinavian Airlines. It was released just a few days ago, actually, and already the uh, the backlash to it has been substantial. We have part of it here. What is truly Scandinavian? Absolutely nothing. Oh my God, I can't remember who I was. Nada. Niente. There is no such thing. Everything is copied. Our democracy? Amen. Credit goes to Greece. Parental leave? Thank you, Switzerland. Iconic Scandinavian windmill Persia. And then it goes on like that for a minute, but I had to leave it out because of copyright issues. So let's just skip ahead to the end part. Going out into the world inspires us to think big, even though we're quite small. Because every time we go beyond our borders, we add colors, innovation, progress, adding the best of everywhere to here. In a way, Scandinavia was brought here, piece by piece, by everyday people who found the best of our home away from home. So, we can't wait to see what wonderful things you'll bring home next. When your political message is basically just crapping on the heritage of the region you represent, like... Were you expecting anyone to like this? Anyone at all? Yeah, I would be outraged if if that was like my home on there talking about. Of course. Yeah, it would just yeah. It's just scary how people hate their own culture. Oh yeah, let's just ignore the Nobel Prize, the most spectacular suicide campaign since Gary Gilmore demanded to be executed. What repulsive shit to watch! It is the common self-eradicating setting certain people loves to bring forward. I wonder who is the intended audience when you do an ad like this. Now we're being decimated as trolling accounts when we are protesting against iniquity online. Sass got woke. Then it got broke. The woke broke is undefeated. Ask Hollywood. I think we're watching the complete demise of celebrity culture and this faux activism they try to put on to seem virtuous. How dare you? You know, the only reason I think these celebrities pretend to care about causes is because they're ridiculously wealthy for basically no good reason. No one cares about movies anymore. No one goes to the cinema. No one really watches network TV. Aside from just being offensive to, you know, if you're like Norwegian, your your sense of national pride is also just, it's not true. Like, it's not true that just because your culture has aspects it's embraced from other cultures, which every culture does, yeah, of course. you know, to a certain extent. That doesn't mean there's nothing unique about you. Like, I mean... Yeah. It's completely false. Have you ever tasted Indian food in a tavern? <laughs> yes. I mean, that's all you need to know. It's its, its own it's, thing. Yeah. And let's pause here because here's the kicker. It's an airplane ad. Their company mission is literally going beyond borders. Considering the worrying trend of Scandinavian airlines relevance according to Google Trends, then maybe artificially creating an uproar is not a particularly surprising tactic. It usually tends to make damn sure that their relevancy doesn't fade into obscurity, despite their efforts to dirty up their public relations. Personally, I would think it's noteworthy that there ever was a need for them to do this ad, as I thought people were flying only if they needed to because of the ridiculous cost of the tickets. Apart from the strongly discounted tickets to vacation cities, the return tickets though, not discounted. And about cities, then I guess here lies the problem. In a city, there's really no need to travel. You've got everything you really need in your immediate radius, limited only by your car's reach or the public transport. Not to mention the later centuries tendency to be generic clones of each other, gradually losing their very own distinct identity and characteristics. The very own things you'd go on vacation in the first place for. The ad reeks of that, like the globalist post-national mentality that says there's nothing special or unique about any co any country, any any Western country that is, and it, it's just not true. So it's especially I don't know how um I know with, for example, a lot of the national airlines um they are actually at least subsidized in part by the government. It's certainly true for Air Canada. Um I Wouldn't I don't be know surprised if, if in a Scandinavian country it was that, subsidized. Yeah, and, and that kind of makes this even more depressing because it's like your taxpayer dollars if you're Scandinavian are going to fund this airline that is, uh, I guess, not very respectful of Scandinavians. 
I know what I think of when I mention the Netherlands. Apart from hookers and weed, it's windmills, which according to Scandinavian Airlines are from Persia. But Scandinavian Airlines also say that us Scandinavians... We take everything we like on our trips abroad, adjust it a little bit and... Voila! It's a unique Scandinavian thing. Well, by that definition, the windmills, which according to Scandinavian Airlines allegedly is Persian, aren't Persian because the predecessor of the Persian windmills is the Egyptian watermills, the Noria. We can play this game for as long as sources want it to go on, but that the origin of one thing comes from another country, does that mean that that particular thing does not belong to certain nations? Like, it's not true that just because your culture has aspects it's embraced from other cultures, which every culture does, yeah, of course. you know, to a certain extent. That doesn't mean there's nothing unique about you. Like, I mean, yeah. it's completely false. Do you not associate Brazil with football carnivals and coffee because football comes from China, Japan, Greece, Greenland, Australia, and New Zealand? The carnival in Rio de Janeiro because its roots are Christian and Christianity is from the Middle East and because it started in order to give honor to the Greek wine gods, the ones who introduced the samba music and dance for Africans and because coffee originally comes from Ethiopia and Yemen. I'm sure you catch my drift. They can't say that Invention X is not Scandinavian because the predecessor is from a non-Scandinavian country while they simultaneously say that Invention Y is from its respective country, irrespective of its foreign origins. Some would call that xenophobic, racist or even supremacist. But I'm going to stick with the describing word cherry picking. And yet to the media and established politicians, or rather simply put, the, bour the bourgeois still wonder why so-called far-right nationalist and patriotic people's parties are popping up in Europe like they were Dandelions. How dare you!